ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event. A championship contest for the World Mid Heavyweight Championship and Buck. To be wrestled over 12 three minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. Presenting on my right in the red corner from Lancashire, representing Great Britain, the World Mid Heavyweight Champion. The challenger on my left in the blue corner from Nuremberg, West Germany, the Bone Blitzer. Now, this contest an international referee from Hull, Mr. Jeff K. Thank you. So Jeff Kay, the referee in charge of this World Mid Heavyweight Championship bout. 12 three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide the winner. Marty in his usual purple gear, tights and uh, wrestling vest and sort of a leotard, I suppose. His opponent, very easy to identify. Bull Blitzer from Nuremberg. Aware, this is a championship competition. It's 12 three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or one knockout will decide the winner. There will be two public warnings. The third one is automatic disqualification. In the event of Jones being disqualified, you forfeit the belt. In the event of a draw, Jones keeps the belt. You understand? <laughs> Say, say that in German, please. I, I think that's be, beyond Jeff K. I think. Anyway, here we go. I'm sure he would have read the rules of his contract anyway. 12 three minute rounds, two falls to the side. That way, round one. Marty Jones in the purple gear, Leotard and tights. The German, the shaven-headed Blitzer, with the heavy knee protectors there. Both men exactly the same weight, 14 stone, 12. Just a pound under the upper limit of the mid-heavyweight battle. Referee Jeff K from Hull. Five, six, six. Oh, oh. Yes, that's the way to do it, John Sutter. Shows him. Oh. Perfectly legal. The German doesn't like it, but it's perfectly legal. Soft kick. A bit mad now. This is only round one. Well, anything could happen in this part, and most of it probably will. Blitzer with a so an ankle now on there. The champion, Marty Jones. He's gonna try for a spin out, Marty, here. He can get him off balance. Just one minute to go. Three minute rounds, remember. And he couldn't get the spin out in. Now he can, there it is. Oh, oh, I don't think this is going to end up any too friendly this round. Cut to the stomach. I know, I'm swinging up the cut. Go fast, cross press. No, oh, this German's going to make sure that Marty Jones knows he's been about here, that's for sure. Even if he doesn't get the tight lock in. Toe and ankle Jones. Back, uh, kind of locked there by the 
German. Neat. But he can't hold it. Anyway, it's too late to worry. Right on the bat. <laughs> Let's have a look now at the slow motion version of that uh, kick outside the ring. You see, Marty Jones drop kicks in beautifully. As he gets up, worried about his back, Jones goes in fast with a drop kick, kicks him just under the chin, and over the top rope he goes. But he lands fairly well. Second way, round three. Round three, round two. Weight difference nil here, both at 14 stone 12, and no score, but we start round three with 10 to go. Easily identifiable. Blitzer from Germany with a shaven head. And with Jones, but underneath the bottom rope this time. Now, what sort of a landing has he had? Not too happy. No to look on his face at all, left shoulder. Six, seven. And of course the German goes straight to that left shoulder and a posting. And that's going to worry. Turns all the way through this. I think it's the shoulder or the uh, left arm anyway. Crutch hold, slam to the German. Pull it down. A little bit late, but the referee this morning him, it's going to be part of the same move. Nice throw. Oh, what a throw from that. <laughs> Great little arm. Um, Trick there, that was the German produced, but that's a pretty good one too for Marty. And placing that flying head scissors back to his advantage very well indeed. Still with the head scissors. Out just one minute to go in the third. Yes. Both men have got to be quick going in there. Jones thought he was quick, but the German was quicker. He's got that reverse side headlock. Side head chance right now. Don't go on too, too long. He's four arm uppercuts develop into a fight here. And a clutch shoulder slam to Marty. Almost to the bell now of round three. Just a couple of seconds to go. And too late in this round for Marty. Unlucky. Unlucky. Had him quite weakened. Look, watch the German go down there. As Marty looks one to applause from the crowd and gets it. Lancashire boy. Now let's see how Marty gets up from this one. What a beauty. Now what's the follow-up? Over the top, flying head scissors, takes the German with him forwards. And the German who had the advantage is now in trouble. Beautiful move by James. Round four. Round four, and still no score. Champion Marty Jones of Oldham. Versus Blitzer from Nuremberg, Germany. The challenger for the world mid heavyweight title and belt. And whoever wins this is going to have to work for it. We've really got two master craftsmen in the ring here now. And it's Jones trying his power lock on those legs. If he gets it, Jones really in trouble. Grabs the bottom rope to get out of trouble, and I think he's made it. He's got the break that he wanted. 
Next time Marty Jones tries that, he's got to keep him into the center of the canvas, away from the ropes. See if he tries that power lock again. Jones' speciality across the power lock. Four Nelson now, the chairman. Figure four head scissors from the back there by the German Blitzer. I think he's wanting to know anyway. I'm sure I don't know German, but maybe you do. Anyway, Jones in trouble. That's the long and short of it. From this figure four heaven. And he's got a minute to last out, Jones. Or be released, or counter. I think it's a sleeper. Yes. The referee said it. See, German is going to be released because of the sleeper on the side of Jones' neck. Johnny Levain affected. The left arm went left. <laughs> Not until the man is up on the cards. Fifteen seconds. Oh, yes. He's swinging up the cuts, but no time for any more. Right on the bell around four. Jones, a little bit worried. Now, why shouldn't he be? He could have met his match here. He's taking a... So I'll have a test for Marty here, this chairman. He's proving the side for man. And the German coming over the interval, and he gets a public warning for it. Then the round four, Bull Blitzer receives his first public warning. Just before the bell to start, round five. So, eight to go, and no score, but Blitzer, the German, won public warning for that attack during the interval. And a lot of powerful forearms coming at Marty Jones. And there's an even more powerful one. Sherman is quite happy with the situation at the moment. It's not going to be easy for Marty to win this one. But oh, lovely drop kick. He received one in the early rounds, which sent the German out of the ring. And Marty got it back then. tackle and it's going over the top beautiful and he can hold he couldn't hold a chance from that flying tackle to hold for a pinfall but he couldn't hold more than two great flying posting there and that could weaken the German back of it oh I think it's a bit turn in for fans in Lancashire to shout easy against this man and it's over the top, beautifully, it's cross press, and it's Jones in trouble again. And it's the German who's got the first ball. In one minute, 20 seconds of round five, Blitzer, the first ball over Jones. Maybe they won't shout easy quite so much in future. We'd like to see this again in slow motion. Jones off the middle rope, goes for the flying tackle, misses times it, German catches him, goes with a cross press, grabs for Jones' left leg, and there is the first fall to Blitzer of Nuremberg, Germany. There's seven rounds to go. Here we go for round six. Seven to go. And the German leading one fall in L. And the 
crowd and here in Lancashire, in Walton, still shouting easy. Their hero is one fall down. And Jones is going to have his work cut out, I think, against this man. It really is something special. And it's Jones going in for the control. This time followed down cross press, getting old. Nope. Count of one only. Oh, nice switch. And oh, German walks into a patch road special. And it's a double arm. Jones over the top. And a further shoulder press. No, rolls on. Double leg grab, holding press. Can the German roll out of this one? No. German doesn't like it, but there's the equalizer in round six. With just one minute, ten goal. One each. Round six, the equalizing fall to Malti Jones. Well, Jones got the equalizer in the very round after he just lost that first fall. And here we can see that again, how he got it. Goes for the leg, second time around, folding press, and fortunately the German for him could not get out of it. Couldn't roll back. Visit over here, but he's uh, he's over here against the world champion who is uh, a Lancashire man, and of course we're in Lancashire here at Walton now. <laughs> and, yes, uh, public warning. I'm afraid of Jones for that. Round seven, the first public warning to Marty Jones. Very solid, you see, Friday Jones get a public warning. Well, that really asked for it, didn't it? <laughs> Shoulder wrench. Blitzer, the German, again thinking about that Marty Jones left shoulder. He throws trouble in the very early rounds with it. He's going to try again now. And over the top. All the way over. And a cross press and trouble for Marty here. But it's Jones got that foot on the bottom rope, which will save him this time. Well, what a tremendous bout this is turning out to be, and so evenly matched. One each. Start of round seven. One public warning each. And arm lock now to the German. But that's not the arm that uh, was causing Jones trouble. Maybe it is now, though. Just a minute, he's got to hold out in this round seven. Or try and counter it. Now he's still in trouble from the arm lock. seconds, round seven. The first side head chance block, but it's not going to work because he's still in the arm lock. Yes, Jones did arm lock is still there, but no chance of getting out of that. The reverse side head. That's a chance now. He goes all the way over the top and gets his man in a kind of move there, which I think is going to wind up in a double rest. No, the German's got his foot on the bottom rope, forcing the break. Right on the bell.
Let's, let's have a look at these two. Let's see how we get to their corners. I know what caused that little upset. Finally, told to get back to his corner. Jones will stay in the center of the ring, but there they are. One fall each, one public quarter each. Anything can happen here. Lancashire crowd is still screaming easy at the start of round eight, but I'm afraid I don't go along with that. It's, uh, it's going to be hard fought for whoever wins this one. Really a tremendous start to the two real craftsmen at the wrestling game. Nice back drop to Jones there. Now, has he got the Germans back? A little weakened. Yes, he's going to try it again, slam. First of all, the high back drop. Then the body slam from the crush hole. Now, what will he try next? Another. A Boston crowd. If he can get him over. He's over. That's over. All he wants to do now is to hold back and make the German submit from it. Come on! But he's got the left arm underneath him. Might not be so easy. Oh, he's feeling it in the back now. That's it. But he didn't submit. Give him his deal. More back weakness coming in from Marty. And it's a double arm suplex over the top. Cross press and trouble for the German here. Oh, the referee was just coming down with his arm on the count of three. And the German rolled out. Split second there. Marty almost had it. And almost retained his world title and belt there. Now, will Marty try that power lock again? Did he try it in round one or two? Saved by the ropes there, the chairman. I'm interested to see if Marty tries it again. Oops, yes. What a beautiful up pass going on from both men. I switch just one minute to go, and he step comes up with the stomach. Further press to Marty, but I think he can hold that now. It's too far over. So it's the German coming in now with a lift. And a spinner. An airplane spin by the German. If this kid is up, Marty, as he's supposed to. He's got 30 seconds. Cross press. And up just before the count of three. Oh, they've both so nearly won this title now. The Germans would rather hold it. And the German nearly won it. High backdrop from the German this time. And it's the German climbing up into the corner on the ropes. On the 10th corner of the screen is there. And all the way down with the guillotine on the... No, but it's right on the back. And it's just a question of how well he landed there on Jones. He gets his second public warning for it. The end of round eight, second and final public warning to Paul Blitzer. So Blitzer gets his second and final public warning there as he comes off the top rope onto his man who's still on the canvas. Now let's see how an earlier move from Jones. Beautiful double arm suplex. Gets him over the top. The cross press follows. Can he hold it? Two. Three coming down the referee's hand. Now he just doesn't hit the deck and the German rolls out in a nick of time. Second way, round nine. Round nine, four to go. One fall each, two public warnings against the German, one against Marty Jones. And this could go either way. Really an exciting contest here for the world mid-heavyweight title. Referee Jeff Kay handling it superbly too. More back weakness now by Jones. Had the German in trouble in the last round with back weakness. There's some more. And all the way over the top. And can he follow down with a cross press? Two. Off at three. Just before the three. Right. 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 Right.
Wick is back to Wolf and takes his man right over and Jones is the one that goes out. But the German goes back in, but I think he's hurt more than Jones. Jones is okay, but the German in trouble. And it's Jones on top, but this time the German is up. And nicely with that drop kick from the high drop. Yes, oh, he mistimed it, and it's Jones going over the folding press. Oh, nearly caught him. So nearly caught him. Now. Oh, Landed with the back of his knee rather than with the feet. In fact, Jones might be just as badly hurt as the German there, at least. German is up. Marty's still down. Eight. Nine, it just gets up nine, nine and a half. German going in over the pile driver. And if he lands this, he could be the winner of the belt. And he's landed it. And now will Jones get up with that cross press? Two, three, no. And he's lost it. Marty has lost it. The title that he's held for so long. He's lost it to the German Bullblitzer in round nine. Two falls to one. Well, it was a lovely move by the German, you've got to hand it to him. But the most dis disappointing result, of course, especially up here in Lancashire. Let's have a look at that finish now. That he twists his man around, goes for the, tries to get the head right down between the legs. The pile Ladies driver coming now. There it goes. Zahn. And that's the one that does it. And he holds him down. Ed Beckley, the famous uh, trainer who started so many big names in the business, including Dynamite Kid. Uh, he's the one that's chosen to plant the belt on the German boy from Nuremberg, Volblitzer. Möchte mich bedanken. Marty Jones gegenüber, der sie mir eingeladen hat für diese Championship. Und ich bin froh darüber, dass ich habe ihn gewonnen und ich nehme diesen Gürtel zurück, wo das hingehört. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure that will be popular, but um, all I got out of that was he was running by the fatherland. Ladies anyway. and gentlemen, presented to you the World Mid Week champion from West Germany, Paul Blitzer. Poor, poor Marty Jones lost his title finally. There he is, looking very dejected in the corner. But you've got to hand it to his opponent, Paul Blitzer, who won it and won it well. Paul Blitzer of Nuremberg, the new world mid-heavyweight champion. But, of course, there's a 90-day clause. Let's hope we see that return bar when it comes on television. With that, it's goodbye from all of us in Wharton. Have a good week. Till next week.